Okay, first I want to show you my uh, just a Turkish, it's very soft plastic Risha. <laughs> The next thing I have for you is my plastic uh, homemade Risha. I really like the sound of this, nice and crisp and clear. Great sound. Uh, next thing, I want to show you very thick plastic Risha, pyramid, uh, made by Pyramid, bought from oodstrings.com. Uh, one side of this is shaved, one side of it is just original. This is the original uh, side. Really nice tone with this. I really like it. It's harder to play with because it's so rigid and it's so thick. Uh, it's like at least a millimeter or, or more uh, thick. And this is the uh, sanded side to my like. We just made it a bit sharper around the edges. Okay. Next we have here. Uh, let's see here. Now uh, this is River Song. Uh, Wooden. This is really nice and soft sounding, very warm. I really like how these ones sound on this oud in particular. It's nice. Um, I tended not to use this on another oud of mine. I didn't really like how it sounded with my Dimitri Rapacusius oud, but I really like it on this oud. Uh, I find on this oud in particular, soft rishas, plastic rishas sound really nice. Now move to the uh, natural material. This is cow horn. We've got a thicker cow horn here, which you'll see how that sounds. This one's got a sharper tip, thicker tip on the other side. thicker side, more round. You can't really pick it up on the sound so much of this audio probably, but um, you can get a bit more tone out of the... I find uh, out of the round edge you can get a bit more tone. Um, on the sharper edges you can get a bit more precision playing, uh, sharper playing for uh, like faster picking. I really feel like that. Um, that's why I use them that's why I make them sharp for more precision picking. Uh, this cow horn Risha, I got these ones from John Vergara. I don't know if he's making them anymore. I haven't noticed if he's making them anymore. But these ones are really nice, lasting me a very, very long time. These one, This one is a bit softer, a bit more thin. Uh, this one's a really nice playability. Uh, I really like using this one with my Dimitri Rapacusius Oud. Best sound. <laughs> Listen to the highs, how they come. 
Okay, now for something special that I haven't really uh, talked about before. So when I came to Japan, I uh, met up with a man named Minoru Fushimi. Uh, he lives close to Tokyo and he builds ouds, he repairs ouds, and he makes um, he makes uh, hybrid ouds between biwa and oud, and he likes using baleen. Baleen is the the kind of the teeth of whales, the stuff that uh, the plankton gets stuck in and so you've got these kind of rishas that he makes out of this you can't get this anywhere else in japan because you can't export this stuff uh, to north america because of uh, certain laws and stuff uh, this one is this one is pretty crazy this one is super thick uh, this is a total different thing uh, i'll show you how this sounds so this one is the this one is insane to play with uh, it's really thick and heavy like you really have to change the way you play and it's not really the kind of risha that you'd play a lot of um, tremolo with but this is how it sounds I really like this <laughs> It's pretty, it's pretty hardcore to play with this one. Uh, it's tough to play with, but uh, it, like, it really brings out the sound of the oud. There's no mistaking that, uh, especially with the highs. <laughs> Beat the crap out of the oud. That's where I would use this something like this. Uh, here's another another shape form. Uh, this one is a bit softer. This one's nice, really nice. <laughs> stubby stubbier one really thick on this end and then uh, a lot flatter on this end uh, you can listen to the sound see how that is here's the thin side <laughs>
nice tone. So yeah, that's just a few. Um, now listen to the comparison between this one and a really soft plastic Risha. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you. 